I think the transfer portal as a whole has been a net positive. You look at a guy like Joe Burrow, in a past life, he would have been a backup at Ohio State. He might have tried his hand like in the Arena League or, or the UFL, and then he would have been selling insurance in Columbus. Now he's like the fourth best quarterback in the NFL, wherever you want to put him. Like, I think that's cool because you get to see the best players. You don't get these these big programs hoarding all the best players. Players get to, you know, find the best opportunities for them. I hadn't considered this, even though I love to play what if, as you know. Your what if is that without the portal, the more active transfer portal, guys like Joe Burrow or specifically Joe Burrow are names that we don't know at all at this point. I want, you know, like, so Bama, what happens with that, uh, you know, mix of QBs down there? Do we know all those guys? Are they first round picks? Surely not. Like Jalen Hurts probably isn't as big time as he is, although then he does transfer out of it. That's a fascinating point. Now you have guys, when they transfer, they're looking to go to another super team. They're not looking for a place to just get playing time like Ohio University uh, or a Mac school. It's very different what you aspire to. I mean, like Joe Flacco, for what it matters, is a random example. But yeah, he leaves Pitt when he doesn't get the gig over Tyler Palco and goes to Delaware and then still fights his way. So you could have still landed on your feet back then. But I'm Cam Newton, I guess, is kind of the exception in the old model of going from mm -hmm. one big time school to another big time school and thriving. But generally speaking, yeah, you, you, if you were Joe Burrow and it didn't work out at, uh, at big time, you, you go to a smaller school, right? Exactly.